Now, I've been working with Blender, a powerful 3D modeling package, and it was just taking ages to open. But this sluggishness seemed excessive, even for Blender. If you're experiencing Blender opening up incredibly slowly, I hope this video really helps you out because it took me hours to find the root cause. But before we get to that though, there are some genuine reasons why Blender might be slow opening up. So let's have a look at those first. If you don't have a particularly powerful computer, remember to shut down any non-essential programs before you start using Blender. It can get pretty power hungry and put a lot of demands on your system. One of the common reasons Blender will be slow when opening up is simply because you've got a lot of extras enabled. And that's usually because there's a lot of add-ons, but it really shouldn't be taking five minutes plus. If you're concerned about this, you can go through your add-ons list and toggle them on and off and see if it makes a difference. I have had one or two add-ons cause issues in the past. The final thing to try, and it won't remove any of your settings, is to simply uninstall or reinstall Blender. Or in my case, I took the opportunity to upgrade to the new Blender 4.1. Unfortunately, it made no difference. And despite not having many add-ons running, I took the extreme option, and I don't recommend this unless you've tried other things first, to reset Blender to its default settings. Not something you should just go and do as it removes all of your custom settings. Sadly, and more irritatingly, it still didn't work. Now I do a lot of work where I end up transferring files between computers, and I will either use an external storage, like a memory stick or external hard drive, or I will use my NAS, and it was then I noticed there was a correlation between Blender taking a long time to start when the NAS was off. Surely enough, if I turn the NAS on, Blender started quickly. So surely Blender was just perhaps looking at the recently opened files. So I went to edit, preferences, and lowered that value down to zero so there were no recent files kept, stopped Blender, turned off the NAS and restarted it, and unfortunately still I was no further along and it took five minutes to start up again. And it's quite easy to point the finger at Blender and assume that it is doing something wrong. Well, actually there is a quirk with Windows 10 and 11 that is the root cause of this issue. I thought at first it might be the quick access list on the side, but that wasn't it either. The culprit that was causing Blender to take eons to start was the recently accessed list. On Windows 10, it's relatively straightforward. What we need to do is go up to the view tab, and then go across to where it says options. Don't use the drop down, that won't show you the thing that you need. You need to click on the folder at the top. It'll open up folder options, and then you can click the clear button, and that should remove your recent files and solve the problem of Blender slow starting. On Windows 11, it's a little bit different from Windows 10. We simply go to our three dots at the very top here, and then we go to options. Now that we've done that, just like Windows 10, we go down to where it says clear file explorer history. We can click the clear button and hopefully now Blender won't take an eon to start. And there we go, we're all sorted. If you found this helpful, cheeky like and subscribe would be great. Why don't you go ahead and check out that video next?